Hey everyone, welcome to today's book review. The book is about the Kamakya Temple. Kamakya Temple, located in Nilachal Hills in Assam. It is said to have been constructed by a king of the Koch dynasty in 1565. According to some sources, its tradition goes back to the 8th century, this is also borne out by the rock-cut sculptures around the current temple. It is one of the 51 Shakti Pithas, the legend behind whose existence revolves around the self-immolation of Sati, one of the forms of the mother goddess. Shiva to whom she had been wed, went into deep and senseless grief, carrying her burned-out corpse on his shoulder and traversing through the universe with it. When all other efforts to bring him back to his full senses failed, Vishnu used his Sudarshana chakra to cut her body into 51 body parts even as it traveled on Shiva's shoulders. These body parts of Shakti, the mother goddess, fell at different places on earth and each of these places became a Shakti Pitha, a place revered by her believers and followers. According to mythology, Kamakya is the temple where the private parts of mother goddess fell. And they remain at the Sanctum Sanctorum, Garbhagraha, of the temple, a deep cave over which a hemispherical dome resides. Bloodstone weaves a story imagined around that legend. Bhairavi, incapable of bearing a child for years, suddenly becomes pregnant when a copper plate with a carving on it is found by her husband and brought home. In time, she gives birth to Parvati and is told in a prophecy that Parvati would be respected but there is another part of the prophecy that hints at her losing Parvati in the future. The compulsion experienced by Parvati to carry the copper plate to Kamakya temple and the consummation of a foretold meeting of the copper plate and the temple's sanctum sanctorum brings the story to its climax. The ending is unexpected. For those who know very little about the legend of the Mother Goddess. The book is an interesting read but for the reverent, fully familiar with the relevant mythology, there is repetition. Especially in the first two chapters after which the story gathers momentum. The reader needs an open mind to immerse himself in the book as fantasy and myth coalesce in its pages. If you are interested in fantasy, this book is for you. You can buy the book by clicking the link on the description. See you all in next video with a different book.